So I'm teaching my class. Uh, my students are asking me, how do we build an agent? Like, what are the tools that you recommend to companies, to individuals who want to start building AI agents? So I have three recommendations, OK? And I'm going to start with the most flexible one and the, and the hardest to, to use to the easiest one that you can use, OK? So the, the most flexible solution for you to go and build an agent is just to use one of the libraries that exist out there. If you are a developer, obviously, to do this, you need technical expertise. So let's say I want to define an AI agent that is going to check a folder for specific files. So here you get some code that I wrote that is going to do that. This is using the uh, Google's ADK, Agent Development Kit. There are many other uh, development kits out there to build agents. I personally like the ADK. I also like Metaflow, which just released their newest version that supports the creation of agents. I'm still investigating that a little bit. But it doesn't matter what the platform is. You can go and build your own agents. Now, obviously, number one, you need technical expertise to do that. You need to have developers on staff if you want to use that method. But the flexibility is unmatched because you can build anything you want as long as you know how to write the code. You can host that anywhere in the world. You have no constraints on your building process. So that would be number one, the most difficult one, the most flexible one. Now, a middle option here, I would say, is NAN. If you don't know what NAN is, this is their website. They have a great application here. Uh, they offer sort of like an editor, a visual editor, where you can create workflows and AI agents that look like, uh, you know, what, what I have here on the screen. You can just start connecting, plugging all of these components uh, to create your final tool. Now, NAN is not fully for non-developers. You do need technical expertise. Number one, in order to build the workflow, some of those components will require development knowledge. So you're going to have to know a little bit of Python, maybe TypeScript, in order to build something useful. You will also need, need to deal with infrastructure in many, many cases. NAN proposes the ability for you to host all of these on your own infrastructure. And that sounds amazing, but for companies who have to uh, deal with security issues and with scaling, and they have to hire people, personnel, with the knowledge of doing that, this will become a little bit of a problem. So you do not need the level of technical expertise, but you do have here an integrated environment where I think NAN right now uh, gives you access to almost a 1,000 integrations out of the box. I don't know if it's 400, 500, 800, it's around those lines. Uh, those are tools that you can use out of the box, you don't have to configure them. You don't have to implement those connections like you would if you were like building from scratch. So you can take advantage of all of that on any end. Uh, one thing to just caution you, the pricing behind any end uh, has caused a lot of complaints. Lately, I've read a, lot, a ton of complaints from people because pricing is not transparent. And people were charged a lot of money, depending on what the agents were doing. So you have to check that uh, and decide whether this is for you. So this would be sort of like the middle ground. Now, the easiest of all of these solutions, which is uh, the recommendation for anyone working at a big company with a lot of personnel, that will be Zapier. So uh, I've done a bunch of stuff with Zapier for, for a long time. I even have here one of those workflows I'm going to tell you just about uh, you know about it in just a second. But the idea with Zapier is, uh, number one, they support more than 8,000 integrations. So that's a lot. Zapier has been on the business of, of creating workflows and connecting different tools for a long time. So right now, they are an AI orchestration platform. They can orchestrate 
8,000 different tools that you don't have to worry about. If you want to connect almost anything online with your workflow, you'll be able to do it by just dragging and adding that you know, integration right here. So that's that's just a big, big, big advantage. They are fully managed. So there is no ability for you to just take your Zapier workflow and run it on your infrastructure. From that point of view, they're less flexible. The advantage of that, however, is that you don't you do not have to worry about uh about hosting it. So it's fully hosted and fully managed by Zapier. So you don't have you don't have to have anyone on staff that knows infrastructure or that has to deal with that. So that would be another advantage. You do not need to know development. So obviously that's less flexible, but at the same time, it's super, super cool for anyone who wants to put a workflow out there really, really quick. If you have a big organization and there are 20 teams at your organization, any one of those teams, like the HR team, the sales team, the marketing team, all of them could easily build their workflows using AI without knowing anything about development because it's just about connecting tools and writing prompts. So that is a big, big deal. Uh, for enterprise companies, I think Zapier supports SOC Type 2 security, which is also huge. And from that point of view, really, really important for, you know, big companies who really need that. So there you have it. There are three tools here, depending on where you are, you can look into one or the other, either develop everything from scratch or use a managed, fully managed cloud-based solution like Zapier and NAN sort of like in the middle. So depending on where you are, just pick one. I have one here. Uh, one workflow that I built a long time ago. One is, if you notice, this is legacy already. This is deprecated already. So all of these tools have been updated. I haven't uh, updated them here, but all of these tools have been updated. Simple workflow. I get form submissions from my students. And what they do, I basically, you know, base extract the sentiment uh, of their feedback. I add some of that feedback to specific spreadsheets. If they have an email, I send it. Thank you email back. If they're anonymous, I don't. You can literally do this in minutes using Zapier without writing a single line of code. Doing this same thing by hand writing code would have cost me probably a day worth of work uh, today. I mean, if you're proficient with the tool, maybe a little bit less, but it's definitely way more complex. So. Hopefully this helps. Again, write your own code, version one, NAN version two, or using Zapier if you really want to put your stuff out there really, really quick. Those will be my recommendations. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.